Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about an interesting problem of mathematics. So it's about uh, dividing the milk between two people equally. So first we have given a 8 liters R, 5 liters R and a 3 liters R. And we have given 8 liters of milk in this 8 liters R. And the problem states that there are two people here and uh, we need to divide this milk equally between these two people. That means each person will get 4 liters of milk. But we do not have any standard measurement uh, of volume. So we are only going to pour this milk from one jar to another and get the result. So for this purpose we can use a simple strategy uh, which I usually say the infinity method so which is quite interesting let's see how we can deal with this problem first I bring a sign of infinity like this so I put the numbers 8, 5 and 3 which denote the 8 liters are, the 5 liters are and 3 liters are respectively now what I do is I just start to move from 8 to 5 like this and write the numbers respectively. So first I write 8, then I move from 8 to 5 like this and I write 5. Then again I just go on this path like this. So I reach to 3. Again I return back on this path to go to number 5. Then again from 5 to 8 and so on again from 8 to 5 again from 5 to 3 in the curve and again from 3 to 5 and so on so at first we got these numbers so at the end of the video you'll understand why I have written these numbers so in the next part what you need to understand is that you can only pour the milk on the jar that is on the right side of it for example let's see 5 liters R is in the right side of 8 liters R. So you can only pour the milk from 8 liters R to 5 liters R. But you cannot pour the milk from 8 liters R to 3 liters R because it is not exactly on the right side. So you can pour the milk from 5 liters to 3 liters R and there is not a jar in the right side of 3 liters R. So what you need to understand is that I can pour the milk from 8 liter to 5 liter, 5 liter to 3 liter and since there is not a jar on the right side of 3 liter so I can pour the milk from 3 liter to 8 liter jar. So this is another strategy we are going to use here. So I have written these numbers so let now let's see which jar is on the right side of these 8 liter jar. So it's obvious we are getting 5 liter jar. So in the first step we are going to pour the 8 liters are into 5 liters are on the similar way near to the 5 liters are there is a 3 liters are which is on the right side so we are going to pour 5 liters are into 3 liters in the same way the 3 liters are is to be poured into 8 in similar way and this gives our result so we have already built the strategy to pour the milk from one jar to another and let's see what happens now so at first there was 8 liters R in the first 8 liters R no milk in the 5 liters R and no milk in the 3 liters R so let's do it sequentially first we are going to pour the 8 liters R into 5 liters R like this then after the pouring of milk we are left with 3 liters R in the 8 liter czar and 5 liter milk in the 5 liter czar and nothing in 3 liter czar. In the second step we are going to pour the 5 liter czar into 3 liter like this and on this scenario we are left with 3 liters in the first czar, 2 liters in the second and 3 liters in the third. So we write in this diagram like this and on the similar way what we can do is we just keep on pouring by the, seeing these instructions. So we pour 3 liters into 8 liters R. So the situation will be 6 liters on the first 
2 liters on the second and nothing on the last. Similarly, pouring 5 liters into 3 liters are Similarly, pouring 8 liters into 5 liters are and 5 liters into 3 liters are again 3 liters into 8 liters are we get the required result. So we got 4 liters in these two jars, so which is the required result. So in this scenario, I have only used the two simple concepts, the concept of infinity or moving in the path to find first these numbers. Then another strategy I have used is you can only pour the milk on the jar that is just on the right side of it. So by using this strategy, you can easily solve this problem and you can remember it for long. And also it's quite easy to teach other people how to do this using this idea so thanks for watching